Methods of Providing Family Shelter. So, do you know how we acquired this house, son? Dad bought it. Well, we let someone build it, then bought it from him. Apart from buying, you can get a house through renting, or better still, building your own. Of course, when I grow up, I want to build a huge house with a large swimming pool. Then I can swim all I want every single day. Oh dear, you really love swimming, don't you? Anyway, people build their own houses in rural or urban areas. However, the design of the house will depend on resources available such as land and building materials as well as city council bylaws if you want it in town. But you're forgetting geography. In the introduction you say that it influences where you plan to build the house, right? I was coming to that. And yes, geographical factors such as soil type and drainage should be considered when choosing a site for a house. Some soils like black cotton soils have clay and hence become waterlogged in wet seasons and thus difficult and expensive to construct a house on. And poorly drained areas lead to flooding which destroy houses. Good memory. Therefore, a house should be built on well-drained site and soil which provide a strong foundation. Mm. I guess the size of the family also determines the size of the house. Good guess. Large families may require more rooms than small families. Plus, the house should be built within budget so that you don't stop midways for lack of funds. You will have to sit down with the architect and work out the cost of land, raw materials, legal fees, labor, and so on. And the site for my house will be close to the road, school, hospital, electricity, and water supply. Mm-hmm. These are basic facilities that anyone needs to access with ease. Also, a good site should be secure and away from factories and airports. So, when all have been considered, you bring in the building materials, right? Yep. But the type of building materials depend on various factors, such as the geography of the area, availability and durability of the materials as well as orientation and land size. Please explain. Okay. Take for instance, houses down at the coast. Most of them are made of makuti or materials from coconut trees, considering the area is hot and humid. Mm. In very cold areas like the slopes of Mount Kenya, building materials that allow warmth in the house should be used. And in addition, you must consider the position of the house in relation to the direction of sunlight and wind. Sorry, I don't get the connection between wind direction and type of materials. All right. The position of the house should be in a way that the front side faces away from the direction of strong wind and direct sunlight. Plus, it should take best advantage of the natural view does that make sense now? A little. Research further on on your own. You will get it. Moving on, when choosing materials, consider how long you want to use the house. Modern houses are built to last a long time. Thus, materials should be very durable. Traditional huts and manyatas, on the other hand, are temporary. Plus, some materials are easily available in certain areas, making them cheap to use. Like brick making in Eastern Province. No wonder there are a lot of brick houses in that region. I think I should buy land and build a house there someday. Plus, it is nearer to Mombasa. Then why not just buy land in Mombasa? Good idea, but it would cost me a fortune. I see no problem if the house is worth the cost. Before buying the house, seek professional help on the value of the house and cost to determine if it is worth the price. Check if the house is durable and attractive and has adequate space for your family size. 
Look at the distance between the house and the nearest shop, mm. school, hospital, and your place of work. And lastly, before you make the final transaction, ensure all the legal documents are available and valid. To avoid getting into trouble with the landlord. Landlords are for rental houses, my dear. Majority of town dwellers live in rental houses where they make regular payments to the landlord to keep staying in the house. In this case, choose a house in which you can afford to pay the rent, accommodate all members of the family, mm -hmm. and access workplace, school, and hospital with ease. The neighborhood should have proper security too. Mm. It's all right, but for me, building my own house is my future dream. I agree with you, my boy. Now, before you go clean your room, uh, do what is necessary. Okay. Ways of providing shelter for the family include building, mm -hmm. buying, or renting. People build houses on land bought and design them depending on the available resources. And when providing shelter for the family, one should consider the cost, family size, accessibility to social amenities in the neighborhood. Good boy. Now go and make your room.